Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Horror Debate. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. And this week we are going to review the uh, remake of the 1974 classic Black Christmas, which is released, of course, in 2006. And uh, what'd you think, Mike? All right. Well, we just saw this at the theaters because we like to go out to the theaters once in a while. Occasionally, uh, we like to see Blue Sky on our way. (laughs) Well, the original Black Christmas. Okay, the plot of this film, a bunch of sorority girls in a house, psycho guy in the house. And he just has an affinity for sticking plastic bags over their heads. Well, you have a way of oversimplifying things, don't you, Mike? (laughs) (laughs) So the original film... Was made in '74. Was really slow paced. Had a lot of dialogue, oh, and man. Uh, they really went for characterization. I thought I read War and Peace by the time that movie was yeah. over, man. But uh, this film definitely speeds up the pace. Has a lot more uh, action in terms of keeping your attention. But I tell you, the characterization just right. was out the window. Right, just right. there's none. There, there is no build up to anything in this. You've movie. got five or six really hot looking young girls, hey, which which is fine. I want to meet the casting guy for yeah. this. Flick, man. <laughs> he must he have had, had a good, good day. Taste, man. He's got some <laughs> really good looking women in but, this movie. But you know, after a while, you, the one's ran off, and they're going, "Which? Where's Wendy?" And you're going, "Wait a second, which one's Wendy? The young blonde one or the young blonde one?" Or no, I think was, it was the young blonde. There one. There was a couple blondes. Yeah. There's a couple brunettes too. Yeah. You know, but and um, was it the one with the phone? No, wait, they all have. I a phone. actually thought, in all honesty. Uh, being completely 100% fair, as we always uh-huh. are at the horror debate, uh-huh. um, I, I honestly thought the acting in this movie wasn't all that bad. I, no, they, they were pretty good. They, they were the, all the, right. the, the women were pretty good. Um, it all the way around, I thought the cast mm-hmm. was pretty solid. Um, and, and another point: the the mother of the house, the house mother, she was one of the sorority girls in the 1974 that's film. Right. And so points to them for, for giving credit and paying homage and all. Okay, very nice move, director. Right. And also the uh, unicorn. We had a unicorn. Right. She gave a present and, uh, to, and it was a unicorn. Right. And it's like unicorn had a, a pretty... Well, this movie, um, it was you know, in the first it's, one. it's a remake. And, and a lot of times we, uh, as I've said before, we kind of uh, look at that negatively right off the bat. And yeah. we really tried to walk into this one with a real open mind yeah. and just say, hey, hit me with it. And... Uh, Unfortunately, um, as we said earlier, you know, the, the, there was no character development. You really did not gain an attachment to any of these characters. As a matter of fact, I was sort of rooting for some of them just to die and get it <laughs> over with. Uh, but, um, you know, and that's a shame because they kind of had something, I thought, by taking mm-hmm. uh, what was a good story and kind of boosting it up, making it mm-hmm. 2006 tech, uh, making it... Uh, um, you know, uh, a story, it, it, like I said, it's a mm-hmm. solid story. You just yeah. had to speed it up. You some. know, okay, I admit, I'm kind of guilty about, you know, oh my God, it's a remake, warn everybody, and you know, all remakes oh, are me terrible. Too. Me but, too. you know, I have pointed out sometimes remakes are okay or needed. Right. For example, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. I love that. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful. And this is another film that really needed a remake. The 1974 right. film was so slow and paced. And you know what? You didn't really get any characterization or any history or anything in the 74 film. Why the killer's doing all this stuff? You That's just right. hear him saying, and then you got Check that the in the remake. You, the remake gave yeah. you all the backstory. Yeah. yeah. So Which that, I like. Yes, that was very cool. It flushes it out for you, gives you uh, more history, more you know, detail. The, the problem, again, though, with when you're doing a remake, okay, you're, you're trying to take the best parts of what we had, okay, which the original. was the 1974, and you're trying to bring that into the future, and, and you're still trying to, people may have not seen, or some of yeah. them may have not seen the original, so you're, you've kind of got to fill in all the blanks. I, I thought this film did that fairly well. Very well. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it wasn't like you were sitting there going, huh? I mean, I was actually in the original going more like, huh? You yeah. know, than, right. than the remake, which mm-hmm. I, I got to give them props. They, I mean, they probably did it in the original, but then because the film was already long and slow and boring, they probably just said, you know what, we don't need all that stuff, that right. backstory. Let's just get rid of it all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hurry up and move to the killing. Right, right. But right. Uh, this this film gave you the backstory, gave you uh, motivation, the killer motivation, mm-hmm. and uh, gave you an ending. Killers. Spoiler. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. And uh, <laughs> oops, I'm good at that, yeah. man. I, I don't say spoiler warning. I just hit it. Yeah. I just hit you with it. Okay, so but, sorry, uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, but then again, okay. So we we give this movie points for doing all that for, but but then again. I don't know. It, it started to turn into a, a typical slasher film yeah. at the end. And, yeah. it, you know, oh, gee, we've got to have the scary hospital scene. A lot Why of cliches. It? A yeah. lot of cliches later on in the movie. Yeah. That, that you were just sitting there going, oh, I knew they were going to go there. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. You, you know, know? I, I knew it. And, and you know, it's, it's not even foreshadowing. Okay. It's just like it's, it's like it's just a tease now. 
because you know you've seen so many movies kind of go down this path, and you're like, no, they're not going to do that again. Yeah, they're not going to do like, it. Oh, oh yes, no. they are. Oh you know. no, hide your eyes. You know that kind yeah, of thing. You know, especially with the body bags in the morgue. And, I was know. just going to say that. That was that was the biggest cliche how many out of the whole thing. How many times did the police pick up dead bodies, <laughs> put, stick them in the bag, but they don't check to make sure they're dead? First. I, I think Michael Myers did that once, didn't he? <laughs> didn't he come out of a body bag? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, so. but that was because he had that mystical tattoo on his arm. Oh, remember? Man, you know what? Don't even talk to me about that. Dude. That's 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 not even that's not even cool. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude! I'm gonna hit you for that, that is, one. That's right, man. Don't go there. No, don't ruin a perfectly good character, man. Don't <laughs> All right. So, but do we like this film? Should people go out and see this film? Um, you know, honestly, um, I wanted to like the film a lot more than I did. Uh, mm-hmm. It did a lot of things right. Um, it it mm-hmm. it succeeds on many levels for a remake, and and for that I got to give it props. Yeah. I think if you're curious, uh, let's say, for instance, you've seen the original movie, you want to see it kind of in fast forward with a lot of lot prettier girls, a yeah. uh, lot, lot more, uh, you know, fancy lighting and, and, and basically, like I said, 2006 tech. Um, and plus also a lot more backstory flushed out. A lot more out. backstory. It, it, yeah. And it, it, then it would be worth going to. But I think... You, you know what's kind of funny? The first film had no backstory and no characterization for the killer. And yet, this new film had no backstory and no characterization for the girls. Well, you know, you, you got, know, you we, gotta, to, we, we got need, budget constraints, dude. We <laughs> got, we got to do one or the other. Okay? So someone's got to remake I mean, this film a third time and get it at, right. Man. I mean, come on now. <laughs> no, um, I do have to mention uh, because I usually do the technical stuff on the movies. I, yeah. I have to mention we were at a scene in, in the movie, and I can't remember exactly where it was because I thought it was really tripping, and I was like paying attention to something else. The sound came mm-hmm. from the left side. It was like a big rumble kind of boom mm-hmm. thing, and I thought the building was going to fall down. Right, I'm not kidding you. I mean, we we I always go to a THX certified theater. Let me let me just say that up front because the sound is so much better, and and the video is usually better too. But the sound is the big deal for me, especially when you're watching a movie in this genre because it adds so much to it. And I think everybody in our party, we went with our wife. Yep. Everybody looked to the left, left. like, yeah, what, what the heck that? is going on? Is there yeah. a rhino going to bust through the wall? You know? Yeah. And it was the movie. And, and I just love stuff like that. I live mm-hmm. for stuff like that in these mm-hmm. movies, you know, that makes, makes you look around you and go, what was yeah. that? Yeah. Or you like know? if you're in a, in a scene in a movie and someone's yelling, I'm over here. And it's behind you and everybody yeah. looks, whoa, I mean, you know, where was I'm that? I'm really picky when it comes to the, the visuals and the sound and stuff like that. I, I like perfection. And I, I got to tell you the He likes perfection. He likes perfection. I like perfection but this this uh was so effective man i mean the, the very cool stuff there was a couple scenes like that actually in the remake that, mm-hmm. that made us kind of look around the room going whoa yeah you know, very cool um but uh, not enough <laughs> to get you to go out there and see this movie if you're not completely familiar with the uh with the original and have this curiosity yeah. thing kind of going on as to what they did with the, the remake it's it, there's just not enough there uh to, to warrant you just kind of coming off the street and going to see it so that means how many stars um you know, honest, this is a tough one. It, it, it would be between two and three. Mm-hmm. I think it's a little bit better than the original overall. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give it three uh, okay. because I've, I gave the original two, right? So mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm going to give this one three. But um, it's it's a real like light three. I yeah. mean, it's 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 barely a three. Yeah. Check check your brain at the door on on some of this. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. I don't know if I'd pay ten dollars and fifty cents or eleven dollars to go see. No, I'd this be film. upset. I think yeah, if we paid yeah, full price to go see. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's a Sunday night. And, and like I said, film. I really wanted to like it because I think we're we're this is oh. a, an area of horror movies, you know, with this Christmas vibe that we're not really hitting on right. I mean, if if you look through the reviews that we've done in the mm-hmm. last month for Christmas, I think we liked one, and yeah. we've done like five. Mm-hmm. You know, so some director somewhere has got to get his stuff together and do a really <laughs> good Christmas horror play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And points, another point to this, this film that you don't see too often in horror films, so I'm going to give a point just for this, is when there is a, a, a big uh, killing... How should I say that? Some big thing is penetrating a human body. Hey, watch what you're talking about on the radio. <laughs> you see no. <laughs> intestines hanging yeah. off of yeah. this big thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. You never I, see I usually. Say, usually you just see a big red, you know, it's just red. But no, you actually see bits and chunks of body and in intestines. The intestine scene was cool stuff. It's like, man. wow. And, it, was and it was moving, too. It wasn't yeah. just sitting there. It was like sliding down. So that thing was sliding. Points I, for I that. All right. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> three, three stars for, from Mike on this one. Okay, too. three All stars right. for me. All right. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate.